Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen and Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm just gonna speak my mind right now because there are a few things that I wanna talk about in this video. I was just asking you guys in a video, I would say a couple days ago on this one, updates on some of my mining hardware, September 2020. And in this video, I was asking how everyone was doing in the crypto mining space. And I just wanted to get the general you know, consensus of how everyone was feeling and some of the things that people were, you know, just overall giving their opinions, giving their thoughts on what's been happening with crypto mining, whether it is good or bad. And I have generally concluded some few different comments here and some people have the same ideas, uh, the same thoughts, I mean, and as well as some issues with buying hardware as a new miner. Okay, so I'm going to be going through and talking about those kind of subjects in this video. And I'm just going to go ahead and speak my mind. I have a few different things I want to talk about with regards to buying hardware hardware right now as the current state of you know crypto mining or GPU mining in general is is profitable at the moment. Okay, so I want to begin first with the current crypto miners who have been in the game I, I would say for the last three to four years. For those who have seen the swings of, you know, when Bitcoin went up to 20K high. Uh, sorry, maybe not a swing or maybe it's called a cycle, what have you. But then for those who have also felt from the 20K all the way down to the ultimate down of 3K near the end of 2018 around there. And yeah, for me, just to give you guys some context for myself, I began religiously mining, like hardcore mining back in February of 2017. And I haven't stopped since. I've been mining throughout this whole time. And I started my YouTube channel back in November of 2018 okay <laughs> when Bitcoin was about 3,000 to 4,000 is when I started my YouTube channel and man that was a that was definitely a fun time I I did it out of sheer passion I just love crypto mining but before then okay just just for an example for me and maybe for other people as well we were always into you know buying hardware getting into crypto mining we're probably always looking at our block folio always checking the prices what have you and to see you know this huge rise up when Bitcoin went to 20k back in the end of 2017 beginning of 2018 it was insane it was euphoric it was so hyped that crypto mining was probably one of the biggest things that would say in the pc space in terms of hardware and stuff amd nvidia all the big brands asus asrock all those companies were into you know building crypto mining hardware i forgot zotac as well you know they're building motherboards they're building mining specific cards you know back during this time is when there was a lot of money to be had and a lot of money was going into the crypto markets and obviously you guys know what happened <laughs> the long arduous bear market <laughs> of 2018 uh, pretty much uh, near to uh, the beginning of 2019 was definitely a hurtful time I would say for some people that were into mining and then ultimately got out of mining because it was just not profitable anymore and then going along for the past I would say year and a half two years crypto mining has kind of come back into play and here we are today as I'm making this video for GPU miners specifically everything is profitable okay uh, specifically ethereum and you know ethereum mining and all that kind of stuff it's it's really insane right now because of the whole defi movement which I know some of you guys who are into it right right now due to like uh, maybe uniswap or sushi swap or yearn all these different defi projects and I, I haven't really gotten really in depth into defi yet but I am getting used to you know hearing about it and I am trying to learn more and more about it and hopefully maybe possibly I can make videos about DeFi down the road if you guys think I should do that let me know but my heart my passion my mindset is into crypto mining so I don't want to deviate from that but it seems like DeFi which right now has a market cap or a value locked at about 11 billion okay so it's it's just been going on a parabolic run uh, since the middle of June or beginning of July here you can see See just the run up how de decentralized finance has been such a hyped up positive or negative depends how you look at it kind of market right now and ethereum is leading the way due to that and everyone is willing to pay for you know the transaction fees you know to move around their sushi swap uniswap what
what have you. And, uh, you know, as of right now, making this video, the block rewards are, they're still generally pretty good. All right. So it's, it's hovering around, I would say average about three to four Ethereum per block. And you guys know for crypto mining to be really profitable that we've seen the past couple months, uh, we've seen blocks go up to like 20 Ethereum, 15 Ethereum. And I've seen it hover at around a good 10 to, you know, 12 Ethereum for maybe a day or so. And that, <laughs> I've shown you guys examples of my A10 Pro where, you know, in a single day, it would mine like 0.1 Ethereum, which is just insane, right? And it happened a couple times in the past uh, couple months. So that's when, you know, all these different DeFi coins are, are, are just hyped up and people on Twitter are, are just going ham on all these different projects. And that's when we see the block rewards go up insane. Okay, so I would say, you know, in terms going back to the aspect or the perspective of how everyone's feeling right now in crypto mining that, you know, everything is profitable right now. People are happy. Like I said, the existing miners that are currently in the space are, have definitely felt this before maybe back in 2017, 2018, when, you know, mining Ethereum on a single 1060 rig was was making like 100 to $200 a day or something crazy. But that was short lived. Obviously, that didn't last long. It maybe lasted for like less than a month, maybe two weeks, maybe a couple days. I, I don't I don't quite remember. But that's why I would say everyone generally, in, in my opinion, is positive. Everyone's happy that it's good, right? Mining is profitable at the moment in terms of mining. Uh, if you're thinking about mining into Bitcoin, and then ultimately, into fiat because that's how you you know you calculate the the profitableness of <laughs> GPU mining. I don't even know if that's a word. But anyways, that's one aspect that I want to talk about. And now the second part, I guess, for the newcomers into the space that are maybe, you know, wanting to get into crypto mining, there is a complaint. There, there was a, actually a lot of complaints, not a complaint, but just just an issue, kind of like a problem for new miners right now that are wanting to get in. You know, it's the euphoria, I would say, for people that are coming into crypto mining because it's been profitable. And that's why I've been seeing more and more people, uh, especially new miners that are coming in wanting to buy hardware. And, you know, right now buying hardware, it's not cheap. It's it's really not cheap and uh, I, I've talked about this before like to me it feels like we are kind of at the top it's generally that kind of you know feeling you know back in like 2017 where where GPUs and you know hardware was really expensive back in the end of 2017 beginning of 2018 you know GPUs or RX 580s were going for like I've seen them like 500 600 dollars or something crazy and so looking at it now just looking at hardware on eBay uh, RX 580s or 570s it, it's crazy like they still go you can still buy them but they almost go for MSRP from when it was like four years ago. So that just blows my mind. And you know, it's it's crazy that Polaris cards are still selling for generally almost on par for what they've been, you know, brand new right now. And you know, if you go to amazon.com, especially, you know, crypto mining motherboards, this is one complaint that I wanted to touch on was the motherboards for crypto mining are also expensive as well, uh, generally. And you know, the Zotac B150, you guys know I made a, a review on that. Thank you, Zotac for sending me that motherboard, by the way. But this motherboard has also gone up in price now too, $89. And uh, I think they're going to probably be running out of stock soon on these as uh, I know that I think a couple thousand people have been buying them since I released that video. It has like, I don't know, 15, 16,000 views or something. And uh, yeah, crypto mining hardware in general is expensive. Mining frames are, are expensive. You know, risers are, risers have generally kept their kept their price but you know motherboards and the you know the, especially the 6th gen or 7th gen mining motherboards you can't really find brand new 6th gen or 7th gen processors anymore you have to go on eBay and look for those processors so for example like the G3930 that's one thing I had had a few people ask on discord and emails I mean you can try to find these CPUs still for good for good deals but there are mostly crypto miners that are buying these CPUs because of crypto mining and because of the motherboard the crypto mining motherboards that support the sixth or seventh gen processor to go with these, you know, specifically, you know, ASRock H110. It's one of my favorite motherboards. The Asus B250 mining expert board. I haven't had good luck with this board, but I know some people have. And uh, the Zotac one that takes uh, sixth or seventh gen mining Intel processors. Okay. But yeah, you know, trying to find used or old mining hardware, it's, it's generally kind of expensive right now. And now there was another question someone was asking, you know, buying or finding, you know, GPUs for mining. And like I said, right now, buying GPUs for mining, it's it's hard. It's hard right now. And generally, the prices are a bit more than what I would go for, in my opinion. Because I remember back, uh, let's see, what, what, as of making this video, maybe... 
half a year ago to a year ago. I remember RX 580s during during this time when Bitcoin was like 4,000 or something. I remember RX 580 eight gigabyte cards going for like 70 fifty dollars especially the red devils oh my goodness i remember the power color red devils were like under like 90 dollars usd and now for the life of us an rx 580 can go well over to 150 to 200 dollars usd for me i it's hard it's a hard buy unless i see something really good deal on the used market locally and you know you sometimes you can find a mining farm or somebody that's liquidating the hardware and you know there's an ebay seller on here called swell you guys should go check him out. This is not sponsored by him, but just, just go check him out. There's a lot of crypto mining hardware here. And I know that the prices don't look good, but generally sometimes you can find a good deal here. Okay. So this is a place to check as well for people wanting to buy bulk. And also, you know, just check Craigslist or, you know, anywhere local, wherever you are. Sometimes there might be someone liquidating hardware. Like you guys know, I just bought a whole <laughs> bunch of RX 580 four gigabyte cards locally. And yeah, I got them for like 40 to $50 USD. It was is just amazing along with a bunch of other stuff which is just crazy so there are some outlier stuff out there some people can find but you just have to find it and you know i know it's hard but it's possible. It's possible. Okay. So, you know, as well for new miners that are coming into the space, you know, it's not all doom and gloom. I know that, you know, hardware, I forgot to mention power supplies are also expensive. Taking a look at nerdgears.com, they do have the HP 1200 watt server grade power supply, $34 USD right now, the breakout board and the HP server power supply for $34.95. Not sponsored in this video, but might as well be. I will show them anytime. Nerd, Nerd Gears is awesome. As well, if you guys are looking for like video cards or uh, if you need rock risers or anything nerdgears.com also has it as well okay so go check them out if you guys are interested but you know there's other websites as well depending where you are mineshop.eu they're in europe so you know locally they might be able to ship it to you a lot faster than if you were to buy in north america depending on what your location is but mineshop.eu i will have a review real soon on their mine box 8 okay so i'm really excited to get this going i'm gonna have some gpus real soon eight of the R rtx 27 70s that I'm going to fill this this case with. So I'm really excited to get that going and I'll have that real soon. As well as uh, if you need to buy risers, check out gprisers.com. Awesome website for buying risers, the latest and greatest. Please use offer code Red Panda Mining. You'll get $5 off your order. And uh, as well as if you are into ASICs, I know some people are into ASICs, but not it's not for everybody. But Crypto Miner Bros is another solution if you are looking into getting into ASIC mining. If you are like a huge, you know, ASIC manufacturer, you know, commercial style, mining farm style, and you guys want to buy ASICs, ask Crypto Miner Bros. Go contact them and they'll definitely be able to help you with shipping, all that kind of stuff. But anyways, guys, going back to new miners, hardware, all that kind of stuff, I... Uh, yeah, it's it sucks right now to buy hardware and for new miners coming in, it's expensive. And it is it is feeling like we are at that kind of like a top range right now. I mean, I don't know if Ethereum's gonna continue in price or anything, okay? Not financial advice, but you know, at the current rate of how crypto mining is, you know, currently profitable right now, uh relative to the difficulty network hash rate of how many people are into you know, mining Ethereum. Uh, and, you know, I, we don't know. We don't know how long this is going to last. And another thing I for totally forgot to talk about, uh, if we have time here. Yeah, you know what? This, this video is long enough. I'm just going to end off with talking about this. But, you know, looking at Masari.io, I, I, I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time. And for people understanding, for people that have been mining now for the past three to four years, looking at, you know, the down from all time high, respectively. All right. When you have, depending on when you have gotten into crypto mining and what what you've been mining your coin depending on what coin you've been mining have gone has gone down in value a lot okay so just for example looks like bitcoin which is in sixth place here down from all-time high all right from 20k 20,089 dollars it was only down from all-time high 46.38 percent three years ago now if we go down a little bit if we're just going down this list we look at ethereum ethereum is at 17th place all right look at that 74.91 percent i don't even want to talk about all the other coins all the other crypto mining coins below like this this place is here like 
so many other coins that are, you know, people have been mining and talking about in the past three to four years. Uh, it's, they're down a lot, more than 90%. And it's, it's funny. Like you have to look at your opportunity cost. I've always talked about this, whether people are just mining into Bitcoin. And I would say for the past three to four years, you probably would have been doing a lot better than mining the coin. Let's say, I don't know. I'm not going to name any coins. I don't want to name any coins because it's, it's kind of sad that, you know, a lot of these coins, especially in the ICO season three years ago, they're down more than 90, 95%. Some of them even 90 to a hundred percent more like 99.999 percent down so you know oh man i just uh yeah it's it's really sad and i just don't know what could you know make all of these other coins here that have been down like 95 to 99 percent to come back up and you know i know people have been talking about like when bitcoin goes up then all the altcoins will go up with it but i i just have this kind of feeling it's it's not the same this time because ico season was was just kind of a hyped up thing and a lot of people were burned and people are going to learn this time right people are going to learn this time from, you know, back in 2017 uh, and all the way down to the bear market of 3K that, you know, during this time and uh, relative to, you know, the down from all time high percentage wise, it's a hard sell right now to be mining other coins. And uh, it's it's hard. It's hard. It's really hard. And I hate saying it. I feel like a bad person to say it. And I'm really guilty of all that stuff. And I, I feel bad for all the other coins. But what can I do? I'm only one person and it's not my fault. It's not my fault that if we're looking at what to mine and we're seeing the likes of Ravencoin, Beam, Zeno, Pearl, whatever. All these other coins that you see in this list, it's in terms of fiat value, it's not profitable. And everyone has the argument I've been seeing like recently is why don't you just mine the most profitable coin and then buy the coin that you like? That's that's the most profitable thing to do because you will get more of the Zeno. You will get more of the Pearl. You'll get more of the Raven coin if you mine Ethereum directly, maybe exchange it to Bitcoin and then change that Bitcoin to Raven coin. Ultimately, you'll have more of the Raven coin if you just mine them profitable coins. So not financial advice. That's something I think I will talk about more in depth in another video. I know I got a couple of comments recently. A lot of people really like the way that I uh, explain things and also kind of I have like a, a broader perspective, kind of like a big picture type of thing. And you know what? I don't think I do. I don't think I'm really good at that, but I don't know. I'm just I'm just talking out of my head here. I've been into crypto mining now for the past three to four years religiously. I, I watch the charts. I watch the coins. I I, I always hear about the latest and greatest. You know, I have to keep up with that because I'm a also crypto mining YouTuber. So, but anyways, guys, I think that's it. I don't know if I really, really... Ugh, there's so much more I want to talk about, but I can't do it in less than 20 minutes. I want to do it in less than 10 minutes, but there's so much to talk about. And I, I'm going to have another video talking about new miners coming into the space and uh, the issues. So if you guys have any questions or anything else, let me know down below. And if you guys have any video ideas uh, that you want me to talk about, any topics, please let me know down below. Anyways, I appreciate you all for watching. Wow, this is a really long video and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.